Hey, man, I'm ready to get straight to the point, bro. Um, I'm fed up, bro. I can't do this no more. I'm getting targeted by my car every single day. I'm getting pulled over for nonsense, bullshit. This guy went out of his way, almost caused an accident to pull me over because of red lights. That is being targeted. I am being targeted, bro. And this guy violated my rights. This guy did so much wrong shit, bro. You're going to see in this video, bro. This is the officer that pulled me over. So, getting pulled over again. Make sure y'all always put your hands on the steering wheel. That's a black nigga, bro. What's hey, up, I, bro? I got a Officer. firearm in the back seat. Okay. Hey, Officer Jones, Atlanta Police Department, Boston. You can't have red lights on your car, bro. Yeah, no, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to it. Cause I was in Midtown, hit that side highway, and then I, when I got here and got dark, I realized that they weren't on. Yeah. So I just cut them off. Okay. Well they can't be red, you feel me? You yeah. know what I'm saying? They gotta be regular white lights or they can be amber lights. But uh, you can't have okay. red or blue lights, bro. Okay. That's for emergency you. vehicles only. You got your driver's license, bro? I she got it. That's my girlfriend. She ain't not Mercedes. She got it, but I got a picture if you want it. To bring up my girlfriend. I'm driving in the front. She's in the back. She's, it's about a one car length space between us. This nigga comes flying down behind her, cuts around her, cuts in front of her, almost causing her to run in the back of him because he's pulling me over for some stupid shit. I'm getting targeted, basically, because I'm in a fucking Hellcat. They think I just have money to give to their, their, their city jurisdiction, whatever the case may be. It's a contract, bro. He just wanted a fucking contract, bro. Google this shit, bro. He just wanted a contract. Yeah, let me just see the picture. Uh, why you, why you got it like that in the back seat? What? Oh, I just threw it back there. Because last time I got put over, they was like, I typically take the clip out, put it on the dash. They was like, don't That's do bad. that. It's in arms reach. Oh, somebody told me it was in arms reach, so don't do that. So the next last car told me take the clip out, put it over there. Uh, just some, throwing it in the back seat. I feel you though. Somebody I, told I, I me just throw it in the back and put your arms on the steering wheel. So that's what I was doing. Let's see where my license is. You can turn the car off, bro. I want to wait some more. You got his license? She's walking over. Did she? Why the hell did she walk over? Oh, this is my license. All right, boss. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just take the gun out the back seat and I'm gonna run it. Okay. okay. Him telling me he's going to go get my gun is searching my vehicle. It's some form of searching my vehicle. I said, okay, because I was scared. I ain't going to sit here and, and try to act like tough guy. I was scared, bro. I didn't, I didn't know. You feel me? Like, I didn't know that I could deny his request to go see my gun. He said he was going to go get it. I said, okay. I mean, I know my gun is clean. You know what I'm saying? It's in my name. I don't have no felonies, no warrants, nothing. So I know that it was a clean gun, but he didn't have the right to search my gun. He didn't have the right to search my vehicle and go grab my gun. So, hey, I just, if y'all know, y'all know. I'm teaching y'all too, because I didn't know that at the time, but now y'all know I know. So they don't have, if they don't have probable cause to go search your vehicle or take anything out your vehicle, don't let them. Get away from the car. You ain't got no felonies or none, right? No, hell no. Okay, so you good to carry a gun? Yeah. I, I live in Virginia, though, so... I got you. I got you. Yeah, for sure. Remember that now. I told him that I am a resident of Virginia. I only come to Atlanta for work purposes. I am a resident of Virginia, which means I'm unaware of the laws out here in Georgia. Where 
these lights bright as fuck, bro. Copyright. <sighs> Take my advice. Whenever you get pulled over, let all the windows down. Cut your lights on in here. Cut your, cut your hazards on. When the officer approaches the vehicle, put your hands on the steering wheel. You hear me? Put your hands on the steering wheel. Don't ever take your hands out of the steering wheel. I get it. You know what I'm saying? It's some bullshit. Whatever. I just, look, I just want to get my... Get my shit, get the fuck on. I'm from Virginia, bro, so... I mean... I don't really live here, bro. Whatever. Damn, these lights bright as fuck, bro. If y'all watch this, make sure y'all go copy air freshener from Vonte 1K Whips. I said Vonte 1K Whips. 1K Whips, man. www.1kwhips.com. Make sure y'all go get y'all air freshener, bro. Y'all definitely gonna need one. No kizzy cap. Cap. They all black ice scent. If y'all was wondering what kind of scent they was. But, um... Yeah, man, this the just the life of a fucking Hellcat owner. Just get, you know, it's crazy, and I haven't got put over in a very, very long time. It's the rap. It's literally the rap. Now, actually, it's not the rap because I got put over two times back to back one night anyway. So, and for anybody curious on what my vehicle looks like, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's a very flashy vehicle. Um. Hence so why I get targeted so much by Atlanta P Police Department. They target me every single week. Like, I'm always getting pulled over. It's because of this. Like, they target Chargers and Challengers. I'm being targeted. It's no explanation to it. I When I drive, I only see Dodge Chargers, Dodge Challengers, Dodge Durangos, Camaros, whatever the case may be. They're always targeting muscle cars. I am being targeted. This has nothing to do with safety violations, anything. The dude literally almost caused an accident trying to get to me. So this has nothing to do with public safety or anything. They're just targeting these high-end race cars, and I I'm sick of it, bro. I'm sick of being on the short end of the stick, bro. It's definitely not the route, bro. It's just having a charger in Atlanta. Like, I miss, I miss having... For one, I miss Virginia. I miss Virginia. And for two, just Atlanta, they be on some bullshit. And he running my gun like what did that have to do with anything bro tell myself you got any felonies bro what hell no i don't have no felonies but i feel, I feel like he gonna do is come back and say i don't have insurance because that's what they always do bro i'm telling you they always come back and, and claim that you don't have insurance nigga i got fucking insurance but that was last time i got pulled over <laughs> they said i didn't have insurance oh and my it might be my tag as well because i got a new tag and a new registration so he gonna come back with some fuck shit. Oh, I already know. Hopefully he don't though. There's another cop coming. He about to spin around. He about to spin around and hit the lights on me. So now there's two officers here. And he just got behind her. Shit is strictly insane, bro. It's the second cop that just pulled up. They just bored, bro. They just want to reach Coda. And they bored, bro. I'm telling you that they're bored. I wish I knew my laws, bro. That's like my biggest thing. I just wish... I wish I knew my laws. Oh, he coming back. 
I need to learn my laws, bro. That that be the biggest fucking thing. Damn, my girl just left me. Oh no, she ain't leave. She she getting out the way. Hey, boss. What's up? Are you a resident here in Georgia? Um, no, I'm not. No. No, I just, I visit my girlfriend time to time. She live out here, but I live in Virginia. Okay, where does she live at? She live at that building right there that, um, that. Okay, 30. Times. Yeah. The apartment's over there. Okay. Yeah. How long do you be visiting? Before? Like a week, maybe. Then I go back to Virginia because I got, I got family and shit I got to watch out with over there. Right. So. Are you, you familiar with the, the, the ordinances on the exhaust and all that? No. Okay. There, it's a what's an exhaust law here? I know it's in Virginia, so, but I, I'm gonna just give I'm gonna give you some advice, man. Okay. I don't know if, I don't know how things go in Virginia, mm -hmm. but I know here in Georgia, man, they're getting strict on y'all sports cars, bro. Like, oh, I heard the loud exhaust, the changing of the lights, bro. I'm supposed to be impounding your car. So because the state is now getting strict on muscle cars that light up and have loud exhaust and i just so happen to have a muscle car that lights up with loud exhaust i'm getting targeted so basically you you literally just said you targeted me without your tar without you targeting me you literally did he literally just said that see what i'm saying oh damn right. yeah, just being real with you okay. that's why i try to be as, as as nice as i can bro gotcha. um but i, I just want I just want you to understand and want you to know, but if you're gonna be here and you're gonna move how you move, mm. make sure you you in accordance with the law. Okay. okay. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. The way they they getting down with you know street racing and all that, bro. Mm. It's like no nonsense here. No more. Okay. Oh, okay. So really, bro. You. I'm supposed to be impounding your car, and you're supposed to be going down the city and bonding out. Okay. Oh, bro. I did not physically hurt or harm anyone in any type of way. I did not impersonate an officer due to red lights because I the car has to have a siren and it has to be flashing lights in order to impersonate an officer. He wrote me two tickets. He wrote me a ticket for smoked out taillights, which has nothing to do with safety. And he also wrote me a ticket for having red lights. How can I go to jail for having red lights? I had red lights with white, my main headlights. The red lights were just an outside. It's just, yeah, I know how to charge the headlights are, bro. And I had my real headlights on. The road I'm on is dark as fuck. So when he pulled me over, I had my headlights on. Just had red accents in it. He's bullshitting, bro. He's, he's, he's just looking for, he's trying to reach quota. That's all he's doing. He's picking on... Any Dodge Charger challenge or whatever the case may be, he's trying to reach a quota. He had no reason to pull me over. He had no reason to break check, cut in front, in front of my the, my other car. He had no reason to do any of that. For jail? Yeah. Oh. Having, having, hold on, let me just explain. <laughs> having red lights in your car, long bro, uh -huh. that's considered impersonating a, 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 an emergency vehicle. Oh, okay? I didn't know so that. So I'm just letting you know. Okay. I just want you to understand, for if you're gonna be here and visiting, mm -hmm. you gotta understand the laws, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna give you a ticket. All right. I do want you to. I'm gonna give you a ticket. All right. Go to your court date, handle everything on your court date, and then move from there. All right. All right. So I get. Don't... I get a ticket even though I still live in Virginia because I didn't know about any so, laws out here. Even yeah, but here's the thing. Just what you just said. I'm yeah. supposed to be taking you to city. That's why I'm, I'm giving you a break because you told me. You stay here with your girl too at Lakeside. Yeah. So I'm gonna put the Lakeside address on your ticket to make it look like you're an, a resident of the city. Because if I put Virginia, you're supposed to be going to post bond. Okay. You understand? And your car is supposed to be impounded. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Kind of. If, uh, if you're not a resident of the state, technically, I'm not supposed to just give you a copy of charges for these for for what I'm gonna give you a ticket for. I'm mm -hmm. supposed to take you down the city and you're supposed to bond out. Okay. okay so i just want you to understand if you get pulled over by somebody else for the same issue mm -hmm. they're not going to be as lenient okay? okay i just want you to understand bro all right all right but just stand by okay okay they can't do that 
bro. They can't do that. How you gonna put an address that's not my address? What? Bro, they can't do that, bro. Bro, how you gonna put an address that's not my address on my ticket? Bro, what? I live in Virginia. Bro, that don't make no sense. Nah. I ain't gonna lie. That makes no sense, bro. I don't I don't understand. What the fuck? How the fuck you gonna this why I don't drive this car at night, bro. This is why I don't drive this. Nigga, I live in Virginia. What? And now I'm getting a ticket for what? Nothing. They just need commission. That's literally all they're doing. They're doing it for commission. I'm sending this off to somebody. Y'all share this video, bro. I live in Virginia. I'm not aware of any laws here. I'm not a resident here. How do I how am I supposed to know? I'm not signing this, bro. Is there a way I can I not sign this shit, bro? I don't agree with this, bro. I live in Virginia. Remember, remember I told you, I wish you would have called me right off the bat. I would have told you what to do, what to say. Yeah, he You're coming. supposed to search your car. He coming back now. All right, bro. You ready? Yeah. All right, so look, this is going to be for the smoked out tail lights. And then the other one's gonna be for the headlights. They're having red lights, all right? All uh, right, do I sign both of them? Yeah, you're gonna sign both tickets. Your court date is gonna be May 29th at 12 p.m. Make sure you go to the court date, bro. Otherwise, they're gonna give you an FTA. Don't just pay the tickets, all right? Um, you got any questions? No. All right, just sign right there, bro. Oh, yeah, pop your trunk. He's gonna put your gun in the trunk, bro. What you write? All rights reserved. Uh, no contract. I'm gonna do the same for this. Yeah. VC. You sign that every time you, you write your signature? Mm. Why you ain't do it on your Can life? I get a picture? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. get a copy of it. All right, cool. Here you you go. did that to be funny or you did that because that's your real signature? No, that's not my signature. It's a... So I that's said... How I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to me. When I said sign right there, mm -hmm. you see where it says signature? Yeah. I was asking for your signature. Yeah. Okay. This is your signature? With the all rights reserved and all that, or I'm I'm gonna have to now rewrite this ticket. No, I mean I do that for my tickets. You do that just for your ticket? Yeah. You got another ticket that you did that on? Uh, one other one. Okay. So what's the reason for doing that? Why not just sign your name like I asked? I mean, it sends it back. Huh? You said what? What? Um, my uncle on the phone. He did just. He? Yo, aunt, you can let him know. Oh, let me cut these lights back on. Your uncle's a state trooper? Yes. Okay. A state trooper where? Virginia. Okay. So why am I talking to a state trooper in Virginia? Uh, he just helped me with the laws and stuff. Okay. So I'm, I'm just trying to understand. So Mr. Mr. Uncle, when I asked him to sign his ticket, 
I asked for his signature. I didn't ask for anything extra on the ticket. Okay, I've already explained to Devontae that I was already giving him a break being that he's a Virginia resident and he's supposed to be going to bond out. But instead, now he's making it difficult because now I got to rewrite this ticket because this is not a signature and this is not the signature that you have on your ID. So maybe your uncle can explain that to you. Can you explain that to him, sir? Hello? Mike. Yes. Yeah, did you hear what he said? They said his name has to rewrite the ticket? Yes. So you put your name down? I did. Okay, so if you put your name down, what's the problem? Well, I put the, also put the other things you told me to write down, too. Well, you got to put down, if you put down your name and that's your proper name, how you sign? He can't tell you how to sign. This is not the signature you wrote on your ID, but don't worry about it, bro. We'll be listening to your report. If you say you have to show up at court, just show up at court. Don't argue with it. Okay. okay. All right, nephew? No. All right, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not hard at all. If you say you want to, you got to show up. You sign the way how you sign your name. That's the way your granddaddy. Show you how to sign your name. You're a contractor. You know that. You're not getting into arguments with anybody. If you got to say you got to show up, you got to show up. That's it. Don't argue with it. Okay. All right, bro, make sure you show up for your equipment, your guns, and your trunk. Sir, appreciate it, man. Yeah.